Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snow Biome Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. Zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. All right, so uh, we are picking up right where we left off. Last uh, In the last episode, uh, we looted, uh, we double looted that uh, yellow um, mobile home place there. And uh, we have a working stiff tools here, so we're going to go ahead and raid this next because I am desperately looking for a pipe wrench. I don't know what the hell is going on because I never, ever have a problem finding a pipe wrench in this game. But for whatever reason, the RNG gods have not smiled kindly upon us and um, haven't found one yet. Uh, so I'm going to do a new drop chest up here. I brought most of the stuff over from our other drop chest, uh, which was uh, back down the way a little bit. Uh, so let's put all this stuff in here, and then uh, we're going to go in and do the tool store and hope to goodness that we find a frickin' pipe wrench. Uh, we're going to save that for the trip home. Let's keep those with us. I'm going to keep the repair kits with us. Uh, we could stand to eat, and just because of the fact that I need to clear up some space, I'm going to take that. And then we're going to eat that. Um, I think I'm going to put the fort bites in there, too. What else? What else? What else? Don't think... Here, we can put the auger in there because there's no way in hell we're going to use an auger in there. <laughs> It'd be way too loud. Way too loud. And we need to make a few more wood frames, so let's do that right now. How many can we make in total? 130? All right, let's just make 30. Okay, let's do this, you guys. Let's do this. Um, we have a sleeper right there, and I'm concerned that we might actually get her attention whilst we're trying to break in here. So we should probably deal with her. So let's do that. And we can actually use uh, use this platform if we get in trouble and have to run back out here. Anyway, so we'll kind of get a, a double double whammy here. I don't know if there's uh, a sleeper over there too, but uh, definitely want to deal with her. So let's be s well, there's two ways we could play this. We could be loud and that way we attract any other Sleepers that might be like around the corner. Um, that way we know we the place is relatively clear. Yeah, let's do it that way. Let's let's go loud, man. Let's go loud. Make sure everybody's loaded up here. Okay, here we go. Okay, well that took care of her. Didn't seem to get anybody else's attention, so I think we're I think we're in good shape. Okay, we'll put that down there, so if we have to run out here real quick, we can use it to get back up. Uh, we're not looting paper right now. I kind of want to, but... Oh, what the hell. Let's loot it. <laughs> We've got a drop chest. Okay, we'll take those. All right, getting under the awning is helping us to stay a little warmer here. So usually the Zekers, even though they could much more easily break through the glass, they usually try and break through the doors once you get them aggroed. So I'm counting on that to be the case again. We're going to leave that. Make sure there's no Larrys anywhere nearby. That son of a bitch has a habit of showing up at the worst possible time. Just gonna take a peek around this corner too. Okay, so let's um let's make some noise and see if we can get somebody's attention here. Hmm. 
There we go. All right, let's see which door they're gonna... All right, I figured that was the case, that they would come to that door. Um, just in case they also try and do that one, let's just at least put a wood block in front of it. All right, come on, dummies. Here we go. Let's see if we can get some twofers here. There we go. 1,362 points. Uh, where's our thing? Okay, glad, uh, glad there's nobody else around, man. Okay, well, hopefully that, uh... takes care of everybody in the front room. Lord almighty, it's dark in here. Okay, we need to do something about that. Let's put a torch here. Make sure everybody's loaded. Alright, before we start doing too much looting, um, let's get this blocked up. Let's just make sure uh, we're actually clear in here. I'm going to put that right there and that right there so we have a little bit of light in front if we have to drop our torch and get our gun out. We're probably okay. This is a smaller tool store. Uh, there's definitely going to be more Zekers in the back, but we can deal with them when the time... Okay. <laughs> when the time comes. That could have woken somebody up. Ooh, the bathroom's open. That's a... Uh... Let's just poke our head in here, because we still in the pipe wrench, and we could still find one. Oh, yeah, there's a sleeper right there. Oh, that's locked. Shh. Don't make a noise. Everybody be cool. All right, let's put uh, you right there. Okay. Can we do that? Okay, didn't seem to get anybody else's attention. Okay, come on, Pipe Wrench. Damn it. If we don't find a Pipe Wrench in this tool store, I'm going to be, like, so pissed. Damn RNG gods will just laugh at us. We already know that. Um, sell for 160 or use for some XP. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get the XP. We don't have a lot of extra space. I'm leaving that shit in there. Uh, okay, well, we still have we still have plenty of chances to find a, a pipe wrench in here, so that room is clear. Let's loot the the front area first, and then we'll take care of the back room. Nice, 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 and we will scrap that. Uh, I don't want any scrap iron in my inventory right now. Let's put this here and put the, keep the torch there. Um, 120 and 80. Yeah, I guess that'd be worth taking to sell. Okay. I'm just going to leave that stuff there for the moment. We don't need jars right now. Um, boy. Yeah, I'm going to leave the bear now, too. We will take... We will take coin, though. We will take coin. Acid. OK. 
Okay, we'll take more of those for sure. Ah, come on, man. Give me something useful. Something useful. Did we already check this? Yeah. All right, well, um, let's grab one of those. We'll leave that one there. Oops. Let's put that right there. Can't hit me from through there. Oh, these guys are breaking through. Okay, we gotta get out the big guns. Yeah, they <laughs> they made mincemeat out of that door. Good lord. Alright, anybody else in here? Nope, I think we're good. Okay. Okay, so we have a few chances in here to find a freaking pipe wrench. Let's get all these open first and then we'll check them all at once. Okay, what do we got? There's our pipe wrench. Okay, good deal. Uh, yeah, we'll take that stuff. We finally found our pipe wrench. There's another pipe wrench. That one's not as good as the other one. Look, and a bellows. Beautiful. A bellows and an iron shovel. Is this iron shovel better than ours? Let's take this off for a second. Yeah, it is. Okay. Plus, well, it also has another mod slot, too. Uh, this will probably... Well, we could sell that for 134, sure. All right, so cool. So we found a bellows. We can put that in the forge, and that'll help us uh, smelt faster. We already have an anvil in there, which helps us craft faster. So that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Let's get rid of these. And um, I think that's pretty much it for this store. Main thing is, again, I wanted to just find that pipe wrench because um, here, here's what we're going to do now. Um, I was thinking about this uh, earlier today. We're going to actually, I'm going to rent some cars and then, you know, get get a little supply of gasoline. And then we're going to actually go look for the desert biome. Uh, I don't think it's going to be too terribly far away because uh, it's supposed to be more or less in the center of the map. And where our base is, is pretty close to the center of the map, uh, east and west wise. But we'd need to go north a little bit more. Um, and that way we can just go get a crap ton of oil shale and we'll be, um, we'll be sitting good for gasoline. So that is what I would like to do. But what we need to do is we need to work our way, uh, back to the base, do our turn in. Uh, which one of these is better? Oh yeah, the orange ones is definitely, the orange one is definitely better, but I'm going to save that one, you know, to make a workbench when the time comes. So I guess I just need to decide what I'm going to take with me now, and then, you know, we'd have to come back and get the rest of this later. So we can scrap that. Uh, well, obviously, we want to take this with us. So let's leave the sandwich behind for now. Um, we already have one of these, and it's not worth a lot of money. So, yeah, we're going to leave that behind. These would be worth a pretty decent amount of change once we sell them. We're going to eat this before, right before we leave. Um, so let's see. What else? What else? What else? We could could leave the paper behind for now. I really don't want to leave the sewing kits behind. That's 120 change. I'd like to keep the steel tool parts. Um, let's pop one of these now. And we'll take a, uh, we'll take a dog food. 
And that should get our health pretty pretty close to maxed out there. All right, so that gives us two slots. Just trying to think, is there anything in here we don't really need to take with us right this second? We don't need to take the pipe. Uh, yeah, we don't we don't need that at all, actually. Okay, so that gives us three slots. We don't really need the cloth fragments. So I'm thinking one, two, three for those, and that's... We don't really need the acid either, guys, because we've got that... I've got acid back at the base. Eno definitely enough to make two wheels, and we're not going to need to make four wheels for quite some time. That, we don't even need at all. So let's grab the recog just because, you know, it's it's recog, right? All right, I think that's good. We can come back for this stuff later uh, or not. It doesn't matter. Let's take this. And that will take all of our encumbrance away. And we have nine minutes to get home. <laughs> so let's get moving. All right, guys. <clears throat> we're going to make some... Uh, we're going to make some coffee. Because we have four coffee grounds. And we're also going to make... Um, we're going to make, I guess I only need two of those. Gosh dang it, knock it off. Uh, some chili. We got cornbread for that. And we have uh, the can of chili here that we brought back. But I think we just need, what else do we need for that? Oh, meat, probably, right? Chili dog. Yeah, meat. Okay, so let's um, put some of there, that in there. I uh, actually want to make the coffee first because I'm going to take it with me. All right, so that needs about a minute and 13-ish. There's plenty there. Put the meat back in here. Um, Let's see. I think everything else that I have in my inventory, I'm going to take over to the trader, except for uh, those. We want to keep those here. We might use those later on, perhaps. Seven switches. That's a lot of switches. Um, I want to keep the pistol parts here, too. Everything else I think we're going to take over and either sell or actually take with us when we start our wrenching career. Let's leave this other wrench here, too, because we'll need that for the uh our own workbench when the time comes for us to make that so that'll give us almost a full stack of coffee which is pretty nice pretty nice indeed uh maybe what we'll do too is we'll take the chili dog with us and right before we set off we'll eat that and that'll give us a nice a nice little boost so when that's done i'll meet you guys over at the trader all right, let's see what he's got for us. Claw hammer or more iron boots. Okay. These iron I boots don't. are not as good as what we have. They're only worth 40. That's also only worth 40. However, we could use this also to make our first workbench. So we're going to take the hammer, plus we get 2750 XP and 330 dukes. And this should be the end of tier one. It's not. Really? Dude, how many tier ones am I supposed to do for you? Good lord. Okay, you know what? Before we take any more jobs... Um, let's just sell really quick. Uh, so currently have 1,897 coin. Uh, so now we have 3,859 coin, which is nice. Oh, you know what? He's got a new inventory. Jeez Louise, those are expensive. We could certainly use that, though. Man, could we ever use that? Let's look at his clothing. Any chance there's a puffer coat in here? Not seeing a puffer coat. Okay. Um, what do you have in weaponry? Got a nice blue double barrel shotgun, but we can't afford that right now. Let's look at Seeker Stash. Um, Wasteland Treasures, Volume 1. I learned a little trick on how to sometimes get honey from harvesting trees. Okay, no, we don't really need that right now. Um, the Storage Pocket Mod, that's that's definitely worth getting. That's going to give us another slot. Try, just trying to see if there's anything else. We could do a bicycle. I don't know though. I'm, I might skip a bicycle and just go straight to a mini bike. Um, in fact, well, I guess it's really up to RNG because we're gonna have to. Um, I, I'm not putting any points into intellect anyway, so we're you know we're gonna have to rely upon schematics for that sort of thing. 
Okay, let's buy two storage pocket mods. We could buy the scope. Um, That would be useful for our rifle. Yeah, let's do it. Let's buy that. Anything else we want to buy from him right now? Nope. Okay, that's it. I guess you're not so bad after all. Well, I'm glad you think so, I guess. Actually, I don't give a shit what you think. Okay, cool. So that uh, g gives us a nice little sniper rifle, the 4X scope. Let's go ahead and put the uh, pockets on our armor. So that's already got that on there. We don't want to take that off. Uh, we have room on this guy. So we're going to have to give something up. What is it going to be? Oh, we should look and see if he's got a shirt so we can get rid of that grass, that grass thingamadoodle. Um, I suppose we could give up one of the plating mods. And if we're going to do that, this one is the weaker of the two. So we're going to do that. Okay, that gives us uh, two more two more slots now, right? Because that, that gives one a single slot. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now, I want to look at the map here really quick. So, we are... Uh, we're about 1216 east, so right about here is the center of the map-ish, east-west-wise. And you know, we could actually stop and see if we can nab that treasure along the way, too. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll wrench cars our way. We'll head towards this, and along the way we'll wrench cars. That's what my mouth is trying to say. Um, and then, you know, just due north of there, right about up here is is the actual center of the map, which isn't super, super far away. And, um, you know, the goal being, of course, that we get enough gasoline to use our auger so that when we get into the desert, we can just mine a whole bunch of oil shale up, and then we can bring it back here and cook it up in uh, the Kimbench. Now, there's another thing, there's another consideration here, guys. I think I might have mentioned this in an early episode, but I can't remember for sure if I did or not. I'm not so sure I want to keep living in the hidey hole here. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of in a weird spot. And, you know, we've, we have to go all the way down into the city here or all the way down here to do stuff. And I'm almost thinking if we were going to even stay in this area at all, I'd like to move more into the town. However, it also might behoove us to live closer to the desert. Um, just so we can get to the oil shale when we need to. So I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I'm pretty sure at this point this is not going to be our permanent base, though. But we'll just kind of see, you know, what happens as, as we work our way towards the desert biome and, you know, kind of make that decision when the time comes. Okay, so I think we're finished here. Let's take a, a look and see what's going on here. Okay, so we got a little bit more brass. We'll just turn all that, of course, into bullet casings. And um, we need to take all of this stuff over to the forge. I'm going to just leave this here for now. We don't really need that, nor do we need the jars right at the moment. Well, no, on second thought, I am going to run back to the base and drop a few things off, so we might as well take those with us. Okay, so we'll turn that off. And, oh, yeah, we wanted to put this in here, too. Okay, good. It was nice that we found that, actually. Quite nice. So we have 11 repair kits, and where is our wrench? Right here. Okay. All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is go back over to the base, drop a few things off, and uh, then we're going we're gonna to head out uh, and move towards this treasure. And like I said, I'm going to start wrenching some cars along the way. Uh, for you know for gasoline in particular and then when we get here we'll do that and then then we're going to head north um and look and see if we can find that desert biome uh, i believe terry told me that it's somewhere towards the the center of the map let's stick this stuff in here for now and uh, i'll probably i probably will not come back what time is it we're getting close to out of time for this uh, episode. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I will bring you back when we get to the treasure. Unless something super crazy, crazy happens between now and then. And when we get to the treasure, we'll do that and then we'll wrap up this episode, okay? So I'll see you guys at the treasure. 
Okay, guys, we are at the treasure. And it's uh, right about here. It might actually even go under the road, which hopefully it doesn't. And we also have a Larry over there. We should probably... There's actually two Larrys over there. We should probably deal with those guys first, just so they don't cause us trouble. So let's go ahead and put our junk turret to work for us as well. So we're going to just put that down there. And we'll make our usual platform here. Now, on the way over here... Oh, doggone it, I was supposed to leave that other hammer at home. Anyway, uh, on the way over here, um, just right over on the other side of that Joey's Used Cars is a, a Favales Academy, you know, the school. And there tends to be a lot of lockers in there. We could, we'd have a good chance of fighting like a beanie and uh, a puffer coat which we could really use in this environment. So I'm thinking maybe after we get this treasure, we wrap up this episode and then we start the next episode uh, by going into there and, uh, you know, seeing if we can find those two pieces of clothing because they're going to... Man, there's three Larrys. Uh, they would go a long ways towards um, helping us survive here. Okay, I'm not going to... I don't want to aggro all of these Larrys at the same time. So let's see if we can get... This one first. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we knocked him over. It's that magazine that we read in the last last episode, I think it was, yeah. Okay, we're just going to use melee so we don't... Hopefully don't attract the other ones. I think that clears all the Larrys in the immediate, vicin uh, immediate vicinity. Could kill that pig, but um, we got to really watch our inventory space. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay, so the treasure... Treasure, 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 is right here. We have no Lucky Looter. Uh, wait, no, that's not true. I do have one point in Lucky Looter, don't I? Yeah, so uh, looting a narrow, narrow down buried treasure location seven meters. Okay, so it's improved a little bit. Um, but it starts right about here. And it goes to about there. And then, how far this way does it go? Quite a bit that way. So, I'd say it's probably right about in here is uh, where it probably is. So, let's grab our shovel. Uh, just in case a Larry does show up, I'm just going to put... I mean, he could come from any direction, so we'll just put it right there. And let's dig and see if we can find this treasure. Hopefully, we'll get something really good. A lot of times in these buried treasures, you get a boatload of, of cash, which is fine with me. I'll take that. And we got another point. Let's look at that really quick. So I put the last point in salvage operations. I think we're going to start from here on out. Uh, I got a point in Deadeye. I've got a point in... Machine gunner. I've got a point in archery and gunslinger, so that covers all of our weapons. Um, oh, and we did, we did put a point in skull crusher too. Yeah, so that covers all of our weapons. So I think we're going to go ahead and start focusing now on fortitude. So I'm going to put a point in healing factor and pain tolerance, and then after that, then we're going to start working fortitude itself up, so we can beef up all this other fortitude stuff. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, you know, six of one, half dozen the other, really, to be honest with you. Let's just take Healing Factor. 
Let's take that. Okay. Good. Let's keep digging here. There we go. Okay, so this is not uh, the treasure that spawns in the Zeekers. Not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. And this is even better than the one we're wearing with mods. Actually, mods don't really affect the, the armor. Okay, good. A little extra ammunition, some money, 21 silver. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, we will take it. We will take it. Okay, let's switch out the helmet. And that one we'll fix up and sell later. I haven't uh, I haven't wrenched any cars either because when I was on the way over here, I got to thinking, you know, I probably should wait until I get to the desert biome and then start wrenching the cars then there because otherwise I'm just going to fill my inventory up with all the stuff that you get and you know, that's not going to not going to really be what we need to have happen. Okay, let's look in here. Oh, I'm going to take those, of course. I'm not going to take those. Well, let's see. I think what I want to do, guys... Oh, shit, there's a lorry right there. Is so I want to uh, I want to go back and try that um, Favales Academy. Uh, which is just right over that way. And see if we can find ourselves a puffer jacket and or a beanie. Because either one of those is going to add to our cold resistance significantly. But we're out of time in this episode. So I'm going to let you go here. And, oh, shit. There's Larry over there, too. I'm going to let you go here. And then uh, I will we'll start up the next episode at uh, Favales. It's right in front of me there. And see if we can find those two articles of clothing that will really help us stay warm. Not that we're doing bad. I mean, we're not doing terrible on the cold now. It still does affect, you know, affect me at times, but it's not super, super brutal. But I'd like to make it so that we don't have to really worry about it at all. And those two pieces of clothing, along with one or two more points in a well insulated, will probably do the trick. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.